My name is Ravi Patel and I'm a systems validation engineer at wireless power transmitter team. Today, we're going to talk about BQ Tesla product family, which encompasses broad portfolio of wireless power transmitter and wireless power receiver solutions designed for WPC cheese standard. WPC, which stands for Wireless Power Consortium, has created Qi standard for closely coupled wireless charging systems, creating interoperability between wireless power transmitter and wireless power receiver. In this video, we're going to cover TI's wireless power transmitter solutions. Before we go deep into TI solution offerings, let's go over the major building blocks of a wireless power transmitter system. The wireless power transmitter system constitutes of three major blocks, the primary coil, the control unit, and the communication unit. The primary coil is used to transfer power. The, dr the controller is used to drive the primary coil, and the communication unit is used to demodulate the information packet that are coming from the receiver. WPC standard has defined several different primary coils, which vary in dimension, material, and tuning of the coil. TI has solutions for five different coil types as specified in the WPC spec. This table lists the transmitter ICs which are part of the BQ500 series offered by TI. As you can see, each one of these parts support different coil types and different input voltage range. The best unit for your application will depend on the desired charging area, the desired input voltage, and the cost of the system. Now, let's start looking at each one of our product solutions in a little more detail. First, let's look at BQ500210 solution. Here, we are looking at the BQ500210 EVM with the A1 coil, which has a magnet, and this is a BQ500210 EVM with the A10 coil without the magnet. Both of these transmitters have a 19 volt input. Now, let's take a look at BQ500211 solution. This is a five volt solution and here we are looking at a BQ500211 EVM with the A5 coil which has a magnet and this one is a BQ500211 EVM with the A11 coil without the magnet. One of the key differentiating features of BQ500211 is DPL. DPL stands for dynamic power limit and this enables restricting the input current <coughs> hence avoiding the input voltage to be pulled down. Let's take a close look at how, how this feature works in action. What we're going to see here is a BQ500211 EVM powered with a USB port. And since we are limiting the input current from to avoid the input voltage getting pulled down, we're going to indicate it by amber blinking LED to indicate restricted power charging mode. Finally, let's take a look at BQ500410 solution. This is a six coil type based with a 12 volt input range. This solution can support anywhere from one up to three coil array. This is an A6 coil based solution and here you see an array of three coils. The key advantage is a bigger charging area. As you can see, when I place the phone on this charging area, the phone charges successfully. Now that we have covered the various TI transmitter solutions, Let's look at the communication that's involved between the wireless power receiver and the wireless power transmitter. To demonstrate that, I'm going to use a receiver EVM from TI, which has access to some test points. When I place this receiver on the transmitter pad, what we are going to see is three distinct phases that we go through uh, during the communication from a receiver and the transmitter. The first phase is a ping phase, where the transmitter is issuing analog ping every 400 milliseconds to detect if the receiver is present. Once we detect the receiver, we're going through the ID and identification phase and then eventually into power transfer phase. In the power transfer phase, you see the receiver issuing control error packets requesting either less or more power. One of the key measures for wireless charging system is system efficiency. In this chart, you can see that a typical TI transmitter solution has greater than 70% system efficiency, making it one of the most efficient wireless charging solution in the market. In addition to efficiency, safety is one of the key aspects of a wireless charging solution. 
When a metal object is placed between the transmitter and the receiver, it has a tendency to get very hot. Our transmitters have a feature called foreign object detection which avoids from this happening. To demonstrate that, I am going to use a nickel as a foreign object and when I place it between the transmitter and the receiver, you are going to see that our transmitter is going to indicate foreign object detection fault by blinking red LED and if we continue to detect foreign object, we are going to terminate power after 15 seconds, hence avoiding the foreign object from getting very hot. This makes the whole system safe and very robust. Finally, here are some of the charging pads which are commercially available which are designed based off of TI transmitter solutions. This transmitter pad here is based off of an ASIC solution and as you can see the final product can be a lot more compact compared to our A6 EVM. Just to conclude, wireless charging offers a convenient and a safe way to charge your portable devices. TI offers a broad portfolio of wireless power transmitter solutions with highly differentiated features like dynamic power limit which enables you to power your transmitter with a USB port, high efficiency and foreign object detection. Please visit ti.com slash wireless power for more information.